to enjoy the beauty of full mathematics. How are you, everybody, who is watching this fantastic program? I would like to take this opportunity to welcome all international and national students. My name is Olen Jolai Marco Tellerio Singo. I'm an electronics and telecommunication engineer by profession, but um, I thank God also who have given me a gift of teaching. So I'm a national teacher in ordinary diploma who is going to impact you and transform your mindset from one point or from one stage of life or one stage of thinking to another stage of thinking. So I'm a Tanzanian and I'm dedicating this program to all the Tanzanians, ordinary diploma students who can take the leverage of this program for them to be transformed from one stage to another stage. So I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you firstly into one of our online institution that's called the Online Diploma Polytechnic Institute of Tanzania in Square Bracket College of Life. Okay. So uh, simultaneously, I would like to welcome you and, uh, into our one of our official YouTube channel that's called Online Diploma Poly Institute of Tanzania in Square Bracket in College of Life. So that the institution that we have in our mind. So, the, uh, okay, I know that you have so many questions and possibly that you've been frustrated because according to my research, the problems that we are solving, we are here to teach and training all ordinary diploma students, especially who are pursuing engineering courses and the science courses. So that's the main focus of this program. So I've been, uh, I've been researching the common problems that have been encountered by NTA level 4, NTA level 5, and NTA level 6. And in this institution, believe me that we are going to figure out the best solution for your problems, especially in the core modules of fundamental courses of engineering and scientific mathematics. So basically, the main or the vision of online diploma for the Institute of Tanzania in square bracket college July is to teach and train our serious students on how they can extract knowledge, understanding, and wisdom from the engineering and science courses, uh, including it means that in focusing on fundamental and the core courses, okay, yes, core courses or core modules, and and combine the knowledge, understanding, and the wisdoms extracted from that aspect with the knowledge, understanding, and wisdom that we are going to teach our students to extract from the Word of God written in the Holy Bible in order to solve real life problems. The main objective of education is not to have certificates and is not to be famous that you educated person in the community, but the main objective is to solve real life problems. So we have so many real life problems that we're encountering so that uh, uh, that's why that I say the main objective of this program is to teach you on how you think differently and how you can take the classroom instructions to solve real life problems which are really dedicated by God himself to you in order to be uh, valuable in the community. So that's the main vision and that's the main objective. However, that we have some specific objective that we are going to prepare you in order to be successful in our, in our continuing assessment. It means we call it CA in short. And also we are going to prepare you to, uh, on how you can tackle your uh, final exams or university exam. It means end of semester exam. So uh, in different modules, uh, and especially that in the, mod the fundamental models of basic engineering and scientific mathematics. So you have to stay tuned because in this uh, online, uh, on this online diploma institution, you can take advantage of everything that you have to cover in NTA level four, NTA level five, and NTA level six. So again, we we'll like just to do, uh, to share with you quickly on how you can register yourself into all people. Okay? All people, these applications of online, online diploma for Technic Institute of Tanzania Square Bracket or in July. The first is that if you don't have an email, you have to create or open a new email. 
The second step, you can send a YouTube by using your email. And the third step, you can search your, or you can search the online diploma for institute, for institute of 40 of Tanzania in square bracket original. So in searching, in search bar, once you are in YouTube, you have to write this, you have to write this name. Online Diploma for the Institute of Tanzania in Square Bracket Oriental Lab. Then you search. Once you search, you see uh, the profile or means the icon, the software icon like this, which has the national flag inside of it. Okay, so the background of these buttons is the national flag. At the side, it will see the old Victor, means that online diploma for the Institute of Tanzania and Square Bracket or in July and the number of subscribers. So then you have to click. Once you click, you will see that home, video, playlist, community, then channel, and then the word about. So when you when you are watching this video, you will see mean that you observe at right hand at the bottom of your right hand side, you will see a software button that you can subscribe. So you have to click it once. Once you click this way, and then it will change into subscribing. And once this way will change, then the icon of the bar will appear. So you have to click and choose option of all. So afterward, you find that you are an active, you have already registered yourself uh, permanently in online diploma for technical institute of Tanzania in square bracket orange line. So the good thing that in, in, in physical institutions you have to register yourself uh, in every semester. So for example, in most engineering and science institutions mean that uh, the training used to spend almost in six semesters. So at the beginning of each semester you have to register yourself. That is the physical. The good thing about this online institution, uh, online diploma institutions, you have to register yourself only once and there is no registration fee, it is free. So you can take leverage of that. So make sure that you subscribe. Why should you subscribe? The aim for you to subscribe is in order to get notification whenever we add or we upload a new video for you. Then we have again, and, uh, you can click the playlist. Okay, so it means that click the word playlist and then you can find the playlist written trigonometry. What it means of playlist? It means that we have departments in online diploma Polytechnic Institute of Tanzania, and one of the departments is called Best Engineering and Scientific Mathematics, where you can find the collections of all the videos of Best Engineering and Scientific Mathematics NTA Level 4, and also we have uh, another playlist for NTA Level 5 and NTA Level 6. But also we have a playlist for each module. So for example, that we have a playlist of trigonometric vector and complex number where we find the collections of 14, of all the videos relating to that module. But also we have a 3D playlist which is called trigonometry. I will find the collections of all the lectures of trigonometry. So it, you have to make sure that you, you follow these steps in order for you to be successful in this online institution. So again, the six step, once you enjoy the, our contents, we know that you have the necessity of how you can share with your friends, how you can share the link of this video. So you can share, you can click the, the, the icon written share to share the link so WhatsApp, so Facebook, so email, or so Twitter, or so Telegram, or so Instagram, or so TikTok. Okay? Once you do that, and then you are already in school, or you're already in our institution. So we have departments of basic engineering and scientific mathematics. The modules is called trigonometric vector. Uh, a complex number. The year of study in most institutions is first year or second year or DNTA level four or NTA level five. Okay, and this is we are in chapter one, the score trigonometry, and then this is lecture one, is called the radial measure. So let us go inside the lecture one. So the quick review, the quick review of what? <coughs> the quick review of lecture, lecture zero zero, which is titled as general introductions of trigonometry. Uh, it has been titled the general introduction of trigonometry vector and complex number. Okay? So that's the name. So 
Uh, in that, we began with uh, the educational system, the higher educational system, the higher educational authorities, okay? Authorities, higher educational authorities, meaning that medium and higher. So we go to medium and higher educational authorities in Tanzania. So I say that in Tanzania, we have three uh, educational, uh, medium and the higher education authorities. And this we got in short of letter, uh, vocational education and training authority. And then we have NATO. So this is National Council for Technical Education. And then we have OTTCU. This is Technical Com uh, Commission for Universities. So if, uh, so you mean that uh, ordinary diploma in engineering and what in engineering, ordinary diploma or ordinary, okay, ordinary diploma in engineering and scientific is offered in an active. And here we have three levels. We have NTA, NTA level, NTA level four, and then also NTA level, NTA level five at the second year. Also we have NTA level, NTA level six, okay, which is, this is basic technician. Here it is technician. Okay, basic te a certificate of basic set technician. This is basic technician. And this is a technician. Okay, okay. So the certificate, this is basic technician. Technician, yes, okay. So something like that. So under NT level four, we have two semester. Okay, we have two semester. So here it is, first semester, and it's the second semester. Okay, so in this first semester and second semester. So the name of this model is to go to get the uh, and complex number. Well, this not. In the first semester, we talked about algebra. In the second semester, we teach about the magic vector and complex number. At the name of what of the model. So let us begin, and we have lecture one, which is titled as radiant measure. Okay, I'll give you some other announcement later. So, <clears throat> so before we teach you about radial measure, let us begin to discuss about introduction, introduction of what? Introduction of trigonometry. Okay, introduction of what? Of trigonometry. So the fundamental question is what is what is trigonometry? And the fundamental question that you have. What is trigonometry? So there are various sources that have defined the word trigonometry. So I uh, just prefer this one. So what is trigonometry? So you can pause the video and then ask yourself. And then try to answer these questions on a piece of paper, then we'll come back into this program. So the word, <clears throat> the word trigonometry the word trigonometry is derived is derived from two Greek words. From two Greek words. Greek words. Which are which are trigonon trigonon meaning triangle. Meaning 
triangle and make room. The metron meaning a measure. Meaning a measure. And hence, literal meaning. Literal meaning of what? Of the word trigonometry. Is the measurement measurement of of prayer. So you can find again another best def uh, another best definition of the word trigonometry. So from the definition above, the word trigonometry is derived from the two pigments, which are trigonon, meaning triangle, and also another word that made the word trigonometry is metro, meaning a measure. Hence the literal meaning is measurement of fortune, measurement of triangle, at the meaning of trigonometry. So simply, trigonometry is a measurement of triangles. And then soon you'll find that, or you'll see that this definition uh, actually will be focusing on what? Simply in the triangle, we'll be focused on measurement of angles and side of the triangles. Angles of the triangles and side of the triangle. However, as trigonometry also deals with other geometrical shapes, for example, pyrogram, it can deal with trapezium. It can deal with maybe uh, maybe geometrical shapes of which are a pentagon in shape. But we have to split those uh, different uh, higher shape, or it means that in higher geometrical shapes into triangles, into small triangles, into bunch of triangles. So that the point that you have to remember. Okay. So it means that simply now, or in other way, we say that geometry is a branch of <coughs> or some other sources define the word geometry. Geometry is a branch, is a branch of mathematics. This also is a branch of mathematics which they are with their study, <coughs> with their study of what? Of measurement. Here is the study of measurement of sites. Measurement of sites. And the angles of triangle. Of triangle. So trigonometry is a branch of mathematics which deals with the study of measurement of sides. Measurements of sides and angles of 14 <coughs> and angles of triangle. Okay, angles of triangle. Angles of 14 of triangle. So that is another definition. So this is the branch of mathematics which deals with the measurement of sides and angles of triangle. And the and the and the they are they are relationship they are relationship <coughs> which exists they are relationship. Which existing among them. So whenever you hear the word uh, trigonometry means measurement of sides and angles of triangle and their relationship. So simply the first thing 
in trigonometry, we are, we are going to teach you on how we can, me we can measure angles. And hence, you can, we are going to use this measurement of what? Of sides. Angles of what? Of triangle. And also sides of triangle. And the third thing that we are going to deal with is relationship. Relationship between what? Angles and sides of what? Of triangle. So these are the three things that we are going to focus when we are learning the subject of or the branch of mathematical called trigonometry. So I believe that you have understood the meaning of the word trigonometry. Possibly you have been learning, you have been solving so many problems about trigonometry, but you have never thought about the definition, what the unique definitions of the trigonometry, what are we doing in trigonometry, what should you expect whenever that you are learning about trigonometry. So please, I uh, can pause the video right now and please let me just copy the those six steps of permanent registrations of your permanent registration onto the online diploma polytechnic institute of Tanzania Square Bracket College Online. So take the leverage because if you don't follow those steps, then you will be our partial students and we want you to be our full-time students because we're expecting to have more than uh, 500 videos on this platform, okay, uh, about what is basic engineering and scientific mathematics. So every day we are adding at least one video uh, in our channel. So if you subscribe, you'll get notifications whenever we add a new video. So we want you to have a sequence of these videos in order for you to learn appropriately. So I think that you've already copied, so now let us proceed. Now we know the definition of the word trigonometry. Means trigonal, trigonal, and the metro. Trigonal means triangle, metro means measurement. So okay, so from this definition we see uh, a vocabulary here which is called angle. Especially the second definition, angles or angle. So what is angle? That's another terminology that you want to address. Angle. So, second question is, what is angle? We know that you've been dealing with this question during your Form 2 education or Form 3 education, Form 2 and Form 4 education. But don't worry about that. We're reminding you because we like to build the strong foundations in Lecture 1 and Lecture 2 actually focusing on building the foundations. But from Lecture 3 onwards, we, ask, we will start teaching you some of the new stuff in your mind. What is angle? Okay. So angle is the amount, amount <coughs> of rotation so angle is the amount of rotation made by the straight line Amount of rotation made by the straight by the straight line made by the straight line from one position from one position from one position to another. Another about a print. So angle is the amount of rotation made by the straight line from one position to another about the print. So it's amount of foot of rotation. So angle is the amount of rotation made by the straight line from one position okay, to another about the point. But the meaning of 40 is the meaning of the wedding end. 
So, for instance, that this is y axis, and also this is x axis. Okay, so you have y axis, and then that is x axis. So we can make an angle. This clockwise rotation. This is the rotator. Also, we can make another angle because, from definition, we say that angle is the amount of rotation made by the straight line from one position to another about the point. So this is the point. So also, we can rotate this angle. We can make an angle with anti-clockwise rotation. Okay. So this one we call it. If you do remember what we told you in uh, in form four, we told you about positive and negative angle. So this is what clockwise. So if you do remember that this is clockwise, clockwise rotation. This is clockwise rotation, and this is no. This is anti-clockwise. It anti-clockwise. Yeah. This is anti. Clockwise rotation, and this is clockwise rotation. Clockwise rotation. So with clockwise rotation, we have what? So here we have positive angle. So this will be positive angle, while this one is what is negative angle. Negative angle. So that is why axis. And this is x axis. So we have clockwise rotation, which is from made a positive angle. And then we have uh, uh, we have anti-clockwise, so it means the positive angle is formed by the rotations in anti-clockwise direction or anti-clockwise rotation. Why uh, the negative angle is formed by clockwise rotation, which is formed when we're rotating clockwise from the x axis in this way. So theta is positive angle and alpha is negative angle. Okay, so the third technology that we have on the spot, I believe that you enjoy in case you have any question about lecture one, you can ask him below at the bottom of the left hand side of this video that you're watching right now in the comment section and as a student or even myself I can answer your questions. So don't just take asking questions. Interact with me with questions because I'm waiting your question by using the uh, digital technology. So after after understanding the meaning of the word trigonometry, and then after teaching you the meaning of the word angle, right now I would like to teach you about because there's no need to just say uh, okay so it means sides of the triangle so when you say about it, uh, when you focus a little bit more sides of triangle, construct another focus. Okay. So sides of triangle. Okay. <coughs> so simply sides of triangle, sides of triangles are three. Join the line segment to form to form what to form a triangle. So there's different types of triangles. So for example, you can have uh, you have isosceles triangle like this one. So this is, you say, angle of the triangle. So this is angle theta, angle theta. So this is side of triangle. And also this one is side of triangle. And this one is side of triangle. Also you can have right angle triangle. Right angle triangle. So this is right angle triangle. So suppose that this is A, this is B, this is C. So this is A, 
this is B, this is C. Okay? So this is the right angle triangle. So also we have side one, side two, side three. Okay? So it depends, you can have different, but in case of the uh, of the trigonometry, we'll be focusing on the right angle triangle. Okay, that's the focus. So we'll be focusing on three jointly line segments to form a to form triangle. So for example, this is an angle, and this is also another angle. Okay, it depends to the sketch. Okay. So these are the side that the meaning of the side of the triangle. Okay. Believe that you understood the meaning of the side of the triangle. Remember the definition of the trigonometry means the measurement of 40 of triangle. And in triangle, we are measuring angles of the triangle, three angles of the triangle. We are measuring three sides of the triangle. And how do they relate? That's all about 40. <coughs> okay. So then right now, let us go into the first important knowledge, which is called the radial measure. Uh, the title of lecture one. Bear with me, radian measure. Radian measure. Okay, so let us see the first knowledge which we'll be encountering in different aspects of trigonometry. And this one is radian measure. So the question we have on the spot, which will be question four, what is the meaning, what is radian measure? Before we study TV data, what is the meaning of radian measure? So there are different sources that define this term, but I found one which is very, very interesting. And the radian, the radian, is an angle, is an angle at the center of the cycle, at the center of the cycle, subtended by an arc. Subtended, subtended, by an arc equal in length, equal in length to the radius of the center. radius of the circle. So we say that the radian is an angle. So radian is an angle at the center of the cycle subtended subtended by an arc equal in length to the radius of the circle. What is the radius? <laughs> what is a radian? That's the best question. Okay? Radian is an angle at the center of the circle, subtended by an arc, equal in length to the radius of the circle. But before we define the word radians, okay, but I think that uh, let, let, let us focus this one and then I will take you. So suppose that we have a circle. This is the circle, center here. So we have the radius, we have a line of radius. This is radius, and also this is another radius. So here, we can form an angle, theta, but this is center of the cycle. So this is the cycle, 
and all is a center. So all is center or circle and theta. This is angle or radian measure. So this is what angle in radian. Angle in radian. So the arc length, the meaning of arc length is the length of this subtended. So it's the length. This is what we call the arc length. Suppose this L. So the arc length suppose this L. And suppose that this is point A, B. Okay. So A, B from that figure, and this is possibly figure 1 to 30. Figure 1, because this is figure 1, 121, and this is figure 122, and this is figure 123. So AB, AB is arc, arc of the cycle, or arc lens. Okay, arc of the circle. And then OB, which is equal to OA, this is what? Is radius or circle. Radius or circle. So this is figure 1.4. So you see the gradient measure now. We have only gradient measure. <coughs> can have a gradient measure if what? If the length of the radius of the cycle is equal to the arc length. Okay? So it's mean that theta for this angle, for this case, theta is equal to one radian, is equal to run one radius if arc length is equal to radius of the circle at the condition. Because a radian is an angle at the center of the circle subtended by arc equal in length, equal in length to the radius of 40 of the circle. So the point you have to note, my dear student, ladies, brothers and sisters, the point that you have to note is this one. Uh, let, let me focus on the it's a units or units of 40, units of candle. Just to remind you, units of candle. Because radian is a one of the units of candle, units of candle. So we say that in geometry, no, okay, in trigonometry, there are two basic units of 40 of angle, which are the first one degree, so angle is measured in degree, and the second one angle is measured. In radian, and that's what you are focusing will be length. So, degree, so you have degree, which is you know, and also you have what you have radian. So, this one we use presented by a small r, where radians we use presented by uh, the short of the word radian, which means radian. So, that's why that we say that, uh, for example, we say that theta is equal to one radian if what the length of arc of the cycle is equal to the radius of the cycle. Okay. Again, you have to note this in advance. You have to note that one, one, no, you have to note this. Pi, which means that 22 out of 7. Remember, pi is 22 out of 7. Or pi 
out of 7, and this is 3.14, etc. So it means that we say pi radian, which is 22 out of 7 radian, this is equal to 1 and 180 degree. So remember that 1 radian is achieved when the length of the arc of a cycle is equal to radius of the cycle. So in case radius of the cycle is not equal to the length of the arc, then we don't have a radian measure. We don't have one radian measure. We have an angle which is its radian measure is less than one. But in case that you find the 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 length the length of arc is greater than radius measure, then we find that, for example, for this case, that pi rad is equal to 180. So 180. So it means that if the radian measure, uh, the radian measure would be uh, from this point, so from point C to point D, that radian measure. So it means that the arc lens will be CD or CD in this way. So under that case, you see that the angle, the magnitude of the angle in radian measure is greater than one, right? Is greater than one radian. But again, if you increase it, if for example you double, the arc length means now you will find that the radian measure also is going to increase. So it means that theta is less than one radian measure. So remember this condition. So this is one, now point one, point one. So you say that theta is less than one radian if what? If the length is less than radius. At the second page to note. The third point to note is theta is greater than one value if the arc length or the length of the arc is greater than radius. Those are the points that we have. But again, you have to note this. Remember that one degree, one degree is equal to sixty minutes. One degree is equal to sixty minutes. One degree is equal to sixty minutes. Again, remember that one minute is equal to 60 seconds. It's equal to 60 seconds. In that case, one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So how about one degree? So one degree is equal to 60 and 60 seconds. So this will make up one degree is equal to three, 3,000 and 600 seconds. These are very important points, especially the first one and the first conversion. And how you can uh, change what the change means that right now the three key points is this one. This is very important. This is very important. And also this equation is very important. Because with this expression that pi radian is about 180 degrees, it can help us uh, to express an angle which is in degree into radians. But with this equation or this conversion, one degree is equal to 60 minutes, it can help us to convert uh, the angle which is expressed in minutes into degree. And with this expression that one minute is equal to 60 seconds, it can help us to express an angle expressed in seconds into, into minutes and then into degrees. So that's a very important concept that we have to remember. So I've been discussing different concepts right now. Ladies and gentlemen, let me present to you example one of radial measure. 
find a secular measure of this. Find the secular or radian. So find the secular or radian measure. Measure of common A. We have 60 means convex 60 degrees into radian. And then B, we have to convert. 112 degrees in 30 minutes. Then C, you have to complete uh, 204 degree 45 minutes and then 33 seconds. So that's the problem that you have. You might not find these questions in most cases, but we are building a foundation in our mind on how you can deal with radians and degrees simultaneously. When we be dealing with this stuff, when we are dealing with different problems of trigonometry. So solution. Then pause the video and try yourself because you have ever I have taught you. This is a very simple question for serious students. So, Roman A, we have to convert 60 degree into radian. Into radian. But the first way that you have, how we can do this. Well, so you have to, the first is done, you have to recall. You have to recall what? You have to recall this conversion. One degree. Is equal to ah no, excuse me. You have to record a pi radian. This is equal to one and a hundred what one hundred and eighty degrees. So it is the fact one pi radian pi radian is equal to one hundred and eighty degrees. How about sixty degrees? So it's equal to what? So let x so cross multiplication. You see how simple it is. So simply, we are going to have 180 degree x, and this will be equal to 60 degree times y radian. So then make x the subject, so we divide by 180 degree, then we divide by 180 degree. So x, this is equal to what? Is equal to 60 degree over 180 degree. Okay, so this with this one zero and zero cancel. So this will make it by 60, it's pi over 3 prime. So therefore, we say that 60 degree is equal to pi over 3 prime. the response. So 60 degrees is equal to pi over 3. Remember pi have its usual meaning. 22 over 7 or 3.14. So you have B. So Roman B will be given out 112 degree, and then we have what? 10 minutes. So to deal with this, we say that the first step, we have to understand that this is 112 degrees and up 10 minutes. So before we change 112 degrees into radian, let us change 30 minutes into degree. So second step. So let us change 30, uh, 30 minutes 
in the degree. How? I told you here that one degree is equal to 60 minutes. So 30 minutes is equal to how many degrees? So let you out. Then cross multiplication. Then 60 minutes one is equal to one degree then 30 second, 30 minutes. Then divide by 60 minutes and divide by 60 minutes. So y is equal to it. So if you simplify this and this, here we have one, one times one. So this is a half degrees. Because it be one degree times one, it's one degree. Then so much. So simply this is 0 0.5 degree. So the third is the big. The third is the big. We say that now 112 degree in 30 minutes. This is equal to 112 degree plus 0 0.5 degree. Okay. So this uh, 112 degree 30 minutes. This will make what? It will make 112.5 degree. Okay? So, the force is state. So, the force is state right now is we have to. So, this one will be a home. Uh, but because it's in second, so I have to teach you. So, the force is state, you have to change 112.5 degrees into radian. So if we change it into radian, we say that we know by radian is equal to 180 degrees. So 112.5 degrees, this is equal to how many radians? So how to cross multiplication. So we have it one hundred and eighty degree y is equal to what? One hundred and twelve point five degrees y number. So divided by 180 degree and divided by 180 degree. So y is equal to it. So you can use your scientific calculator. The pi radians is formed. So the pi radians, you can press shift then pi. Multiply with what? 112.5. Then the response divide by 180 degree. So now it is 1.96 1.96 1 right now. And this you can express also in fraction. Simply, this is the radius. So therefore, we say that we'll be given 112 degree in 30 minutes. 
and this is 196 gram. So let, let, let me start from my scene and give you the homework. So here we have what 200 and 4 degree, then 45 degree, 45 minutes, and then the degree. So you have to do as how we did it in Roman B. So the first is T. The first is T. We have to split 204 degrees and 45 minutes to the three second. This is equal to what? This is equal to 204 degrees plus what? 45 minutes plus what? 23 seconds. Okay? So, the first time, uh, the second thing. Let, let, let us change the three minutes, seconds, into minutes. Into minutes, half. So I told you, one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So 33 seconds is equal to how many minutes? How many minutes? So this is equal to, let's say, then. So your cross multiplication. So our bed is equal to what? It's equal to the three over sixty. So if you simplify by three, you get eleven, and then you get twenty. But this is twenty what? Twenty minutes. So 11 over 20 minutes. It is 0 0.55. 0 0.55 what? Minute. Go for the steady state. Steady state will be given 45 minutes and we have 0 0.2 to 0 0.55. Minute. So you have to take 35 minutes plus 0 0.55 minutes. This will make 45 and 5, 5 minutes. So afterward, we have to change it. So let us change 45.55 minutes into degree. Into degree. So to change into degree, remember that one degree is equal to 60 seconds. Then for the five and five minutes, this is equal to zero. So the cross multiplication. So 60 minutes baby is equal to one degree. 5.5 minutes. 60 minutes. And then this is 60 minutes. That is equal to what? <coughs> so it's equal to 45.5. Zero point seven five nine degree. Okay, zero point seven five nine. So for that case, 
we have been given, so it means that 204 degree, 45 minutes, and 33 seconds. This is equal to 244 degree. That's what 0.759 degree. So this will make what? So this will make 204 degree. Seven five nine. Okay. So the first step, let let us express two hundred and four point five point forty seven six degree into radian mercury. How you do it like that? Pi radian is equal to what? is equal to 180 degrees. Is equal to 180 degrees. So now, so how about 204.76 degrees? Wonderful. So this is equal to what? So this is equal to uh, x possibly, or x. So it cross multiplication. So once you cross multiplication, we get x is equal to what? Is equal to pi radian times what? 224.76 of what? Of a, of a 180. 180 degree. So then, 276 just use your scientific calculator, divided by 118. So you have 224.76, the approximation, the 118, so it is 1.29. So this means that x is equal to 1.249 radians. Beautiful. Radian. So simply it means that uh, 204 degrees, 45 minutes, 33 seconds is equal to 1.249 radians. Okay, so before I end this session, I would like just to do state to you, I have to begin with this, but unfortunately that I forgot. Uh, let me just uh, say to you the contents, the contents of trigonometry, of trigonometry. What contents are we going to have? Trigonometry for NTA, Level four. The first concept that we are going to cover here is called the introductions of trig, which you have already covered. Introductions of trigonometry. The, the second concept is gradient measure, which you have covered. However, that will be 
Very nice. I will be teaching you in lecture two also. Then the third concept that I'm going to teach you is trigonometric function, six trigonometric function. Six trigonometric function, which is sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, cosecant, and secant. Okay, so then we'll touch a little bit about unit cycle. Unit cycle. Unit cycle and a little bit about compound error. However, we'll be, we'll be doing revision. First concept, we are going to teach about double angle, which you will need later on. So, when you teach a differentiation, uh, double angle, uh, when you teach about integration, it means about quadriculus, double angle, and T formula. And T formula. And the sixth concept that we are going to teach you is trigonometric identities, Preview identities. We'll teach you so many identities, identities which will help you on proof because the common questions of trigonometry is proof that the, maybe the expressions on left hand side is equal to expressions of right hand side. Or evaluate or show. She or maybe uh, maybe uh, deduce. So we are going to have a uh, similar language, but these expressions will need your understanding of so different geometric identities. So for you to uh, to be successful in this context, then you have general. We are going to teach you about general solution. General solution. General solution. So forty. No solutions of sine, cosine, and the tangent. The eighth concept that we are going to teach you, our dear students, according to the syllabus of NATE, National Council for Technical Education for Engineering Level 8, we are going to teach you about a very important formula that you are needing to uh, in NK Level 5 and NK Level 6, NK Level 7, NK Level 8. As called the factor form. This is the fundamental concept for calculus. I want to tell you that, according to my experience, because right now you are NT level four and you want to welcome in ordinary diploma education. Myself, um, I thank God by His grace, I did NT level four up to NT level eight. So, uh, when I was doing all of these programs, it means NT level four, NT level five, level six level seven, level eight, I will apply the, the concepts of trigonometry in every NTA level of my studies. So I insist you, you have to concentrate on all of these concepts and keep them even after you succeed to pass the module called the trigonometry, complex number and vectors. You have to make sure that you, you keep these concepts because you will need them. Factor formula, and then uh, another problem is solve equations of 40. So I will teach you how you can solve. Okay, how you can solve what? How you can solve the question? Question of this form: a cos theta plus b sin theta. This is equal to c. Then number uh, the ten concept. I'll teach about sine, 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 and cosine. Sine and cosine. Sine and cosine. Then the 11 concept I'll teach about small and application. Small angle application. Small end application. And then the 12th concept I'll teach about problem solving. Problem solving.
Okay, so before I end this session, let me leave the homework for you. So you can enjoy it when you are waiting the next lecture, which will be lecture two, which is uh, which you will enjoy it soon. So this is homework. So in every session, I will leave the homework for you. So this is homework two, right? Homework one. Okay. So in homework one, we have question one. Okay, convey the following angles into right now. 111 degrees. Second question that you have to try, convey the following angles into degrees. So the first one you try of a seven radian degree. We have four point seven eight radian and see we have what? We have uh, the team of a seventeen radian. So please make sure that you do this first homework one before you meet in the next session. Keep enjoying the beauty of trigonometry, vectors, and complex numbers. I'm very happy. This is Engineer and Sir Olenjolai Moko Tagayelo Singo from the beautiful country. I'm very happy to just to reach the end of lecture one because the Holy Spirit is saying it is enough for today. So I thank God who have created me in his own image and likeness, and I thank God who have given you opportunity to just to learn lecture one of trigonometry vectors and complex numbers with me. And I thank God who have given me a gift of teaching because this is actually a gift from God which I've been given. So uh, once again, I would like to invite you in case you feel from your heart that you want to offer God your feeling thanksgiving through this program in order to support the running cost for this program so that so many videos or so many videos are of Basic engineering and scientific mathematics will be in air for the present to benefit present and future generation. So you can send your freezing sense giving so that telephone number 0759-745331 and we will be enjoying our contents. Again, we can ask you to uh, also to because you want to do the bank transaction, just you can go into the descriptions below for you to offer your freezing sense giving to God who, have, who is a sponsor of this program. In case you have any question, don't hesitate to ask in the comment section below. In case, again, you have any challenge, don't, uh, don't hesitate yourself to share with me in the comment section below. Keep enjoying, you have to keep on enjoying the beauty of uh, basic engineering and scientific mathematics. Mathematics is beautiful, and we engineers, we call it the queen of engineering. I, I invite you to join me in the next lecture, which will be lecture two, and where that I'll be teaching you about line segment, arc lengths, and how you can find the area of the sector and be solving some problems. And then uh, it will allow us to take you into the trigonometric function as I've given you the list. So we thank because up to this moment, we have covered this first contents and the second concept. So it means that 
So you need uh, the radial measure just will cover the half of it. Okay. So in the next session, we'll be finishing the radial measure. And again, we can think about dealing with fixed geometrical function. So may God bless you and keep you. Don't state yourself to interrupt with me. So questions, ask your questions as well as you can. And don't remember, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share these contents to your friends and other students of NTA Level 4 across the entire country of Tanzania and across the entire continents of Africa. So may God bless you and keep you until we meet in the next session. Keep enjoying the beauty of basic engineering and scientific mathematics. Thank you.